How you doing, Kenta? This is a reading for you for the um, 27th of June through to the 4th of July. Now this week I'm doing readings from the Akashic Tarot. Comes with a booklet, quite a thick booklet. Now I will be reading from the book. Okay. Let's go. Five of Keys. Wishes fulfilled. Five of Scrolls. Diversity. Mm. The Buddha prepares. The Ark of the Covenant. Interesting. Okay, Cancer, the lookout. So, look out. Okay, so we've got wishes fulfilled, diversity, the Buddha prepares, the Ark of the Covenant. That coming after the Buddha prepares is quite significant, I think. And the lookout. Look out. Where are we looking? Look out. <laughs> Look out. Okay. Five of keys, roses, forces. Keys. Ah, here we go. Five of Keys, wishes fulfilled. The scene is a bright and full storeroom, a larder for a sizable and successful estate. Inside are the keys and coins, wines and spices. Also within the room are a number of baskets. Filled with a bounty of fruits, vegetables, breads, flowers, sugars and grains. Even the many windows look out at the expanse of your world. This card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realised. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours. Celebrate. Akashic force. Close your eyes and feel someone. Close your eyes and feel someone's. Miss 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 Bell. Oh no, it's not Miss Bell. I apologise. Close your eyes and feel someone hand you a set of golden keys. One of them opens the most important door before you. Open the door and see what lies ahead. Nice. Nice. Right, five of scrolls next. Diversity. Five of scrolls. A woman stands on a veranda. A woman stands on a veranda overlooking a beautiful valley dotted with little towns on the hills and along the river. Scrolls that she has read lie upon a nearby table. Another scroll is held loosely in her hand while the woman surveys all that she sees. Wow, ties together with the first card, doesn't it? 
Within this card, you'll find that it's time to diversify. There are many options for you to consider, and you should take a look at them all. Allow yourself to try new things. Go to new places, learn new subjects, break out into different directions and meet new people too. Don't worry about scattering your, I was going to say energy, I think, yeah, energy. <laughs> energy, too thin. You're in a period of expansion, so use it. Let yourself go further afield than you planned. In the end, you will diversify in ways that introduce you to a whole new you. The Akashic Force with this card is Your life has turned into a smorgasbord of opportunities. Close your eyes and imagine an array of all the many different things that interest you. Give yourself permission to try them. How can you do that in the coming weeks? So think about how you can do that in the coming weeks. Make a flowchart. Make a mood board. A, a, a smorgasbord. Nice. So opportunities are going to be coming your way. Possibly something that you haven't even considered, is what I'm getting. Okay, next card. Next card is a major arcana. Ah, uh, the Buddha prepares. Mm. The Buddha sits meditating. The hills in the background are dotted with other people meditating and patiently waiting for him to speak. But he won't move a muscle until he is ready. This card shows a time of inner preparation before action. Before you can reach outside yourself, you must reach within to find your power, your purpose, and your direction. This period of time may feel a little like waiting. And it appears so in your exterior life. Because some points of action seem to be at a standstill. Really though, you're just taking the time that you require to prepare and to truly step into your power. Don't be in a hurry. The time to act is coming. And when it's here, your strength will be absolute. The Akashic Force for this card is Close your eyes and reach to the Buddha within. Feel the peace and easy understanding that there is time for every purpose under heaven. Feel your own sense of purpose stirring softly within you. Soon you will be ready to serve. So what I'm picking up on here from these three cards is you are going to be given. You are going to be given. So then upon being given you are going to have to think about diversifying and doing many things some of those things will be about serving your community and if you want to look at that wider serving people serving the people not as a servant but just doing your bit okay next the card very important you got three major arcanas in a row after the two first cards so after the Buddha prepares you've got the Ark of the Covenant number 11 the stars are shining on a serene desert night fires burn before a number of white tents inside one of the tents just beyond the open front flaps rests the Ark of the Covenant two men sit by a crackling fire nearby at the most mundane level, this card can represent a beneficial legal contract or title transfer. It also can show successful working with professionals such as brokers and lawyers. More often it indicates that you are living true to your own karmic contract. Facing your lessons of growth and working towards greater discoveries and bringing your unique contribution to the world. Your karma does not rule you. 
you rule it. When the work becomes too great, taking a rest doesn't break with your covenant. It supports it. You understand the phases of time and energy, and you work within those phases. Some of your karmic directives at this time may involve other people. If so, make sure there is no urgency, need or personal agenda in play. Don't let yourself get pulled into emotional drama. Know that the things that require your attention now reflect a commitment that has a far-reaching influence that may impact your present as well as your future lives. So continue to work towards your highest purpose to uphold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. And the Akashic force for this card is close your eyes and imagine the Ark of the Covenant opening before you. Within it, you see the contract that contains your highest purpose. What is that purpose? Sense one word and one action you can take today to pursue it. One word and one action you can take today to pursue that purpose. Powerful energy. Number 17. The Lookout. A man looks through binoculars from the crow's nest of a great mast ship. A battle is being waged on the deck below. This card tells you to be on the lookout. There is a challenging situation, perhaps even a battle of sorts, around you. Now this is coming in the final position. This is the final card. So it's coming. It's not around you at the minute. You could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position, but if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through this difficult time a little more easily. This phase may be temporary, but it's important to keep your balance. Your strength will carry you through to a better time to come. Okay, so there's definitely a levelling up energy there, because to get wishes granted... Um, diversifying when you've been given these universal gifts then the Buddha prepares then the Ark of the Covenant so this is a classic energy to come when you have a levelling up a, a, a challenge the Akashic force for this card is close your eyes and take a deep breath become the lookout and scan things happening in your life notice anything you'd like to correct then take a moment to consider how to do so. After a few moments, let that go. Now turn your binoculars to look into the future. What do you see on the horizon? Okay, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Take care. Bye. Forever though. Thank mm -hmm. you.